up, B Hands here, and welcome back to Pretty Parent Chick TV. So, I have another um, bag review to show you guys. So, if I look the same as I did in my last video, it's because I'm filming a couple of videos back to back. So, if you're new here to the fam, welcome. Thank you for stopping by, and please click that subscribe button before you leave. Now, enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, so first off, here she is. This is the Coach Dreamer shoulder bag in the color block. Uh, this is Miss Straw color block. Um, I love her, she's gorgeous. Okay, let me tell you the backstory. So I actually uh, received this bag twice. So this is my second one. The first one I found on the Coach outlet site in the reserve section and it was on sale for $1.99. Um, I was debating back and forth between this one and the Dreamer in Oxblood with the rivets, which I showed you guys in an earlier video. And I decided to go with the Oxblood one, but I really liked both of them. Uh, but they both were on sale for $1.99. And so I kind of slept on it. I thought about it like maybe the next day. And they had changed the price to, I believe, $2.47. Um, my mom was going to the outlet that day. And it was like a work day so I couldn't go and she was like oh let me know if you want anything from the outlet so I sent her a picture and said can you look and see if they have this bag on sale my outlet which is Niagara Falls uh, outlet did not have any retail bags but my mom said oh you really want that bag and I said yeah but I bought myself a different bag and she's like you should have it anyway and so um, I pulled up the bag online and my mom was like charge it to my car because you should have it so my mom is so nice so, uh, so my mom actually bought me this bag right so I ordered the bag. The bag came probably three days later. And when I opened it up, it was all, you know, like factory wrapped. Um, but when I looked at it closely, it has scratches all over it. Um, and the scratches on the back and on the hardware were like the worst. So I asked in a coach group, like, do you think I should send this back? And it was like 50-50. Half the people were like, oh, that bag scratches easily. It's not a big deal. Other people were like, um absolutely send it back like you should have a bag in like pristine condition and so some people were suggesting using a microfiber cloth to buff out the scratches so that's what I did a few of like the lighter scratches did come out and other people suggested if they didn't come out uh by doing that you know buff it with a little uh leather conditioner so I did that but the scratches that were on the back of the bag in the hardware they did not come out so I called coach, they said, oh, send it right back, we'll send you a new bag. So I sent them the bag back, um, and they did send me a replacement bag, which is this one, which came in perfect condition. So all in all, it took like maybe eight days, nine days for me to get my new bag. And I was really worried that this bag would sell out in the time that they took to ship it to me, but they assured me that um, they had enough in stock where it wouldn't sell out. So... My second bag is fine. It is perfect. It did not have any scratches, no damage, so I was very, very happy with it. Um, so the color right here is it's such smooth leather that you like kind of have to do this. I don't know, maybe it's just me, it just feels good. But um, so this leather up here is in the color mist. Uh, I believe that this color on the interior right here, the flap. I believe that's chalk. If I'm incorrect, then definitely correct me in the comments. And then this color down here, this light saddle color is called straw. Um, the interior is micro suede and it is a navy blue. I know there's like huge debates, especially on Facebook about people who do not like coach bags with the micro suede or the fabric interior. They only like the leather interior. It's kind of weird. Um, I actually like the micro suede interior. I also like the leather, the fabric I just don't feel is like, I don't know, fancy enough, but it's not a deal breaker for me. The exterior of the bag is what's most important, um, in my opinion, just for me. So the side of the bag has the chalk color running on the outside and then that blue mist on the inside. And then on the back, um, it is black on the back pocket. And then underneath is also black. Okay, so this guy comes with two straps. Um, it comes with a black leather shoulder strap, um, which also doubles up, you know, um, where you can kind of size it in half and wear it over your shoulder or in the crook of your arm. 
um and then it comes with a long chain strap so i actually learned in the a previous video um that you can actually double up this chain strap now i did not know that shout out to um i don't remember the young lady's name but she's in the comments i believe on the oxblood video and she told me like hey you know you can double up that chain strap because i was actually using a strap for one of my cassie 19s and she's like no you actually just you know double it through the loop and i was like oh my god why did i never know that so it was like a life changer so shout out to her um so i actually really love it like that and that's how i carried it when i wore it today um so to jazz it up i actually added a purse charm so if you saw my video before this one i did an accessories haul and so i actually used one of my recent purse purse charms um which is one with a whole bunch of little dangly little circles um i thought that one looked good on here but this bag also comes with purse charm so it comes with the regular you know leather um hang tag i did not get it personalized because i bought it from the outlet and it doesn't give you the option of doing that um so the next time i'm in my coach retail store i have to bring like eight hang tags from purses that i want to get monograms but it does come with a little leather um like little leather strip and it has a little gold c hanging on it um so it does come with a little purse charm which i think is nice all in that little inside it has three compartments um, you know, it has the ooh, back compartment, which is nice and roomy, a very skinny little pocket compartment, and then another compartment in the front. I will show you guys up close once I show you what's in the bag. On the back, it has an exterior pocket, and then once you lift up that other flap, it also has a front pocket that kind of extends. It has a little, like, a little, you know, accordion thing going on here so it extends out i don't um stuff it like that though because it makes your bag bulk out so i am going to show you guys what i keep inside of this bag to show you what it holds um number one in my back pocket i have my work phone which is a galaxy s8 and that fits in there perfectly fine it doesn't have a case on it so it's very skinny um, it just has, I think, a screen protector, but I never put a case on it. Um, but it fits back there fine. It doesn't bulge, doesn't bulk or anything. And then, uh, in the back pocket, I have a um, six key ring. The Louis Vuitton six key ring. I don't have it stuffed. I have, like, my house keys and my little tag for the gym and then i have like four cards stuffed on the inside so it doesn't bulge out at all it's very skinny very slim so it doesn't take up very much room and then also in the back i have my airpod case and then i also have a makeup bag so this is like a smaller makeup bag but i actually fill it up like I chop it full of stuff I'm um, in the middle compartment which is that zippered pocket I keep my iPhone um this is an iPhone 10 I think it's like the XS to give you reference for size and it does have a case on it with a ring on the back and it fits in there perfectly fine and in the front pocket I have a few items so I have a wallet. Um, this is a Louis Vuitton. I believe it's the Victorine wallet. So it is a small wallet, but um, it does take up a bit of room. So I have that in the front. So I can get it in and out easily. And then I have another key case. Uh, this is a Coach 5 ring case. 5 key ring case. Um, and this one has my work keys. Has like an emergency five dollars <laughs> in case i need like vending machine snacks or a four for four <laughs> um then it has business cards in there and then on the bottom it has like my key fobs and a hand sanitizer so i keep that in the front and i just stick it upright so everything fits in there nice and neat nothing's crammed easy peasy 
All right, guys, so that's everything that I carry inside of my Coach Dreamer color block. Um, yeah, I really love this bag. I actually have four of these now. Uh, I think this is my favorite Coach silhouette. I know I've said that about other purses. Don't hold me to it, but out of the three silhouettes that I like the most, which are the Cassie, the Parker, and the Dreamer, I believe that the Dreamer is my zhuzh. So, um, yeah, I'm going to insert some photos um from today of how i wore this bag today and then i also styled it differently when i wore it like a week ago um i yeah would highly recommend this guy whatever color you can find it in i have it in oxblood um this color black i also have the saddle and the black which i have not reviewed for you guys yet but i will in an upcoming video so please leave a comment below let me know what you think if you like the dreamer if it's not your favorite um if you love a different coach bag or you have a bag that you'd like me to review let me know um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out